Hello guys, here I am back once again with a new art video and this time it is part 2 of the video titled So I made NCT members into Ghibli characters. This time however I did redraws for all members, 1 to 7, Dream and Wavy and you can find all the high quality pictures on both my Twitter and Instagram accounts. This video has been requested a lot in the comment section so I hope you enjoyed this one too. Let's get to it. For the first picture that I'm redrawing in this video, I used a screenshot from the Ghibli film Ocean Waves or Umiga Kikoeru and the members I chose for this picture are Henry and Xiaojun. I used their pictures from Dream Plan Episode 1 as a reference and the first thing that I did was of course draw some clothes in them. It wasn't really difficult to do this, I only had a bit of difficulty with Henry of course because it was a girl drawn in the original picture and I had to make her look more like him in the terms of, you know, body build, but I guess it didn't make that much difference after all. Then I colored the clothes, I added the shades. The clothes had to be in a darker color than I would originally color it because they were under a tree. But despite that, I still had to add some shades to it, so... Here you see me drawing shades on uh, Henry's pants and... Henry's boots. There was also the parts on his shirt where you see light protruding through the trees, so I had to make them a bit lighter. And here I'm drawing his hair and a little hat thing adding details to the hat and coloring it and his hair of course and that was about it for Henry. I had of course to mask the parts of the girl behind Henry that I didn't draw over and now I'm drawing Xiaojun. I didn't really need to change a lot around his pants and shoes but for his clothes up, I had to draw a shirt or a blouse, whatever it is, over the original jacket. So that was a problem a bit. And I had to alter his height so that it wouldn't look too unnatural because our Xiaojun is a small boy. Here I'm just coping the hat from Henry and just adding little details on his face. and masking the background, of course. And the last thing I did was add a shovel in his hand, like he's holding it. So I had to alter his hand. It looks a bit unnatural, I'd say, but I didn't know how to do it better. So that's about it. And here I'm, of course, adding some shades and like finishing touches. And of course, the last thing I did, I had to do this, was do the same pattern on his shirt. So I redraw by hand the thing that he had on his shirt and just, you know, kind of added some color and stuff. And that was about it. The next redraw that I did was from the film When Marnie Was There or Omoida no Mani and I used Jaehyun and Jungwoo from the 2018 Halloween party. I left Marnie's hair the same and just added a few more locks and I changed her dress so that it would be similar to Jungwoo's dress. It was really fun to draw this because I really like drawing dresses and I can't really draw them when I'm doing NCT because NCT don't wear dresses that often. Well, never. 
Then I redrew her shoes. I just added some cute little shoes and here I'm doing shades for her hair. Then I'm doing Jaehyun. With Jaehyun, I had a lot of difficulties because I wanted him to do the man spread thing. And so I had to redraw that from the beginning and that was like a bit of a hassle, but I did it anyway. I put the basket thing that she's holding in her lap between his legs on the ground. So I had to draw his crotch area and everything that was obstructed from the view by the basket. And I'm drawing her his hair and hands and like coloring it all yeah I changed his hair a lot <laughs> and some kind of color that would suit him like a bit of pinkish and just masking it all There was a lot of masking for Jaehyun. And I'm just changing his facial expression a bit and doing some details. And doing, of course, the shades on both of their clothes because I forgot to <laughs> add the shade on Jungwoo's dress. And that was about it. And now it's the dreamies. For this redraw, I used Jeno and Ranjin and Ghibli's Whisper of the Heart. As per usual, I first found the reference pictures I would use and then started redrawing. I used the pictures from their We Go Up album. I didn't really have to draw a lot. I just changed his shirt a bit and I just left the apron he had and changed his hair a bit. Here I'm just masking the violin and his hand over the clothes that I redrew and changing a bit of colors and then masking the background and all that stuff. Now I'm doing the shades of his clothes. I'm coloring everything black and then just changing the opacity because it's way easier that way. And here I'm starting with Ranjun and I'm doing his clothes. They're of course again from the We Go Up era. I'm drawing his shorts and cute little hair and all that stuff. It's now the coloring part. I didn't really use a lot of colors for this one. I just used the same three to four colors like the red, the orange, the gray, and that was about it. And here I'm like just redrawing the background and adding some shades to his clothes again. Again, it's just black color with the opacity lowered down. And I'm adding some details on his shirt that was written on the original shirt and just changing his facial expression. I made his eyes closed for some reason because it's, I don't know, it looked, it looked better. And that's about it. The next picture I'm using is from Ponyo and it may be the most different from the original but I guess you can guess from where it is of course. It's because I added the third member and I did that because I'm using 95 line and there are three so nobody gets left out here. I used the pictures for references from the Isaac. Here I'm just redrawing. This was really fun to do because there wasn't a lot of detail because the drawing style is like that but it was fun to draw their hair and you know do their facial expressions and stuff here I'm just 
coloring their clothes, they're all green, and that wasn't much of a hassle too, so a win for me, I guess. I'm drying their hair. Oh god, I love red hair, Taeyang. And just redrawing their faces, you know, changing a bit of eyebrows and eyes and stuff. And just masking away the background that shouldn't be seen. That took a lot of time. And here I'm just adding the details of like the steam coming from the ramen. And that's about it. And now the youngest members and the film title from Up the Poppy Hill. As per usual, I started with redrawing their hairs and their clothes. Now, I had a lot of things to mask and, you know, just remove. And those were mainly their clothes or their hair or the accessories. For example, the hat on his head. And here I'm just redrawing the background things that should be seen but weren't seen. And here I'm drawing their hair. And little did I know that I mixed up their hair colors, so I would be fixing that a bit later. Here I'm coloring their clothes and the skin. And here, of course, I'm, yeah, changing. I'm stupid, but okay. I changed his arm so that he would be holding a fork because I used the references from Jisung's birthday party. Sometimes I am, I'm amazed at how much patience I have for these details. Who would draw that? Anyways. Here I'm finishing up their hairs and redrawing some more stuff in the background, this time by hand. And more details, of course. And the last detail I added was a birthday hat on Jisung's head. Just coloring it and adding some text. And that's about it. And the last picture I'm doing in this video is Kun and a screenshot from Spirited Away. Now I used a picture with him with blue hair because it was just adorable and I think that he posted it that day or like the day before so it was fresh and I'm just redrawing her shirt and her short. I'm redrawing it because I wanted to make it less difficult to color. I didn't really change the dimensions of her shirt or anything. Here I'm just doing the stuff around the bouquet in her hands because I wanted to make the part behind the foil a bit lighter so it looks, you know, more natural. And I'm just drawing over the parts that are not supposed to be there like the skin or the background and coloring his hair in blue. I love that color by the way. And just fixing some more things I forgot, like the second sleeve and stuff. And here I'm just coping the layer of the color of his shirt and then deleting everything but the part behind the foil and making that part a bit lighter. Doing the thing with the shadows on his shirt. And of course on his hair. And the last detail I added was the sketchers thing he had on his shirt. And just making it, you know, fit. And that's about it.
Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me on my channel. Since I got a lot of comments asking me which program I'm using, it's called Paint Tool Sci, and it's a really cool program, so check it out if you're interested. And the background music is not mine. I used edits by YouTube channels I Am a Lost Whale, Morkleon, Morkleon, and Dreamy Sue. And I linked them in the description with the songs I used. And I will also link the high quality pictures I posted on my Twitter and Instagram account. So go check them out more closely there and maybe, you know, like them, follow me. I'm funny, I swear. And also, as I said in the beginning of the video, as there are a lot of members, I couldn't include all the processes in the video because I would make the video an hour long and I would lose my hand because that was a lot of editing. But I did a redraw with every member of all NCT 127, NCT Dream, and Wavy, so you can find them all in the links in the description. And yeah. Thank you again and see you in the next video.